Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe the role of antibiotics in treating diseases caused by bacteria. You should then be able to explain why antibiotics cannot be used to treat diseases caused by viruses. And finally, you should be able to describe what's meant by antibiotic resistance and how this can be prevented. And this is for the OCR specification. Okay, now antibiotics are often used to treat bacterial infections. But you need to understand that antibiotics have only been widely used since the middle of the 20th century. In the 1920s, the antibiotic penicillin was discovered by the scientist Alexander Fleming. Penicillin is a chemical produced by a type of fungus. And penicillin was shown to kill bacteria without harming human cells. Penicillin interferes with the cross-linking of the molecule peptidoglycan, which is found in the bacterial cell wall. Because the bacteria are now unable to form their cell walls properly, when water enters the bacterial cells by osmosis, the cells burst. Penicillin came into widespread use in the 1940s. Soon after, scientists discovered several other categories of antibiotics. Different antibiotics have different effects on bacterial cells. For example, some antibiotics target bacterial ribosomes, preventing bacteria from synthesizing proteins. Now, human cells are fundamentally different to bacterial cells. For example, human cells do not have a cell wall, and the ribosomes in human cells are different to those in bacteria. So this means that while antibiotics are toxic to bacteria, antibiotics do not harm human cells. Now, a key idea you need to understand is that antibiotics have no effect on viruses. Remember that viruses use their host cell to manufacture proteins and to reproduce. So this means that viruses do not contain any target molecules for antibiotics to act upon. And that means that antibiotics cannot be used to treat diseases caused by viruses. Okay, now the introduction of antibiotics had a major effect on human health. Before antibiotics, many people died from bacterial infections. With the introduction of antibiotics, these infections were now easily treatable. However, there's now a major problem with the use of antibiotics. In recent years, a large number of bacterial species have become resistant to antibiotics. What that means is that antibiotics no longer have any effect on these bacteria. Antibiotic resistance can be caused by overusing antibiotics. For example, prescribing antibiotics when they may not be needed, or may not be effective. You need to understand how antibiotic resistance can develop. I'm showing you here a population of bacteria in the absence of any antibiotic. None of these bacteria have antibiotic resistance. Now, random mutations are continually taking place. And sometimes a bacterium develops a mutation for antibiotic resistance. I'm showing the bacterium with antibiotic resistance in red. In the absence of antibiotic, this resistant bacterium has no advantage over the non-resistant bacteria. This means that both resistant and non-resistant bacteria have the same chance of surviving and reproducing. Now I'm going to apply an antibiotic. The antibiotic kills the non-resistant bacteria, but the resistant bacterium survives. Over time, as the resistant bacterium reproduces, we have a large population of resistant bacteria. Staphylococcus aureus is a common bacterium found on the skin and in the noses of around 30% of people. In healthy people, it rarely causes harm. However, in some cases, it can cause an infected abscess or even sepsis. In the past, Staphylococcus aureus was treated with the antibiotic methicillin. However, now the bacterium is resistant to methicillin. Scientists call this MRSA, or methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus. And MRSA is a significant problem in hospitals, where it can spread between patients. Clostridium difficile, or C. difficile, is a bacterium found in the large intestine of around 5% of people. C. difficile produces toxins, which can lead to diarrhea and fever and in some cases it can be fatal. C. difficile can become a problem when a patient takes antibiotics for a different infection. C. difficile is resistant to a number of common antibiotics. 
So while the antibiotics kill other bacteria in the digestive system, C. difficile can survive and reproduce. And over time, the digestive system is taken over by the C. difficile. Now, antibiotic resistance is a significant problem in medicine. We can reduce the chances of resistant bacteria developing by using antibiotics only when essential. And we need to ensure that effective hygiene is practiced in places where bacteria can easily spread, such as hospitals. Okay, so hopefully now you can describe the role of antibiotics in treating disease.